this opportunity to uh, do a quick review of my 2017 Coachman Freedom Express 257 BHS. That's a mouthful. 257 meaning it's 25 feet and change. Uh, BHS is bunkhouse. Um, we're a family of four. My wife and I, my son that's just turned five, which is why we're here. This is where we wanted to, he wanted to come for his birthday. And my daughter that's nine and will be turning 10 at the end of the, at the end of the year. So the main reason I wanted to do this video is to show you an owner's review and I've had it about a year now. Uh, so we feel comfortable kind of talking about how, how uh, we've liked it and enjoyed it so far. So I wanted to do a quick walkthrough mainly from an owner's perspective. Uh, you're welcome to leave comments if you have any questions, but I wanted to show you what attracted me to this particular uh, model and what I think about it one year later. So first and foremost, in the back there's a little shower which is really nice. It came to be pretty convenient in the summer when we were down in San Antonio and the kids were uh, you know, hot sweaty mess, they wanted to cool off. The um, outdoor shower was really nice to be able to wash them off and so on really nice little uh, nice little uh, addition so we got some storage here this little cap on the front I really like it uh, it actually when I was looking late 2016 early 2017 it came on um, that particular model and that's when I really knew I liked it uh, it's just it's it's a nice little touch makes it look a little uh, sharper um, the other thing it's got two LED strips so right here and right here uh, it's really nice the other thing that I liked is this little uh, this little guard. It's a little on the cheaper end, but nonetheless, at least it's not the regular body. So I really like that. Uh, most of them, if not all, are coming with one of these electric jacks, and it's got a light. It's really convenient at night when you're uh, unhook, you know, unplugging and hooking up and so on. Um, the spare tire mounted there is, is a nice touch that frees up the back. Uh, you've got the uh, solar charge you know, connection if you want to set that up. We haven't done that just yet, but I'm thinking about doing it. Uh, the reason being is we want to go to some places that don't have electric hookups. So far, everywhere we've gone have had full hookups, some sewer, some, not, some without sewer, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So this is the light. Check it out. Isn't that cool? I love the LED strip. Really, really sharp. But this thing has a tremendous amount of storage, which really caught our eye. It also comes with one of these uh, tables. We haven't even taken it out since we've had it, because again, everywhere we go camping, we've got a table already. Uh, we've got a little one as well, but it's a nice little, nice little touch. I love the storage in this thing. It's phenomenal. Uh, the other thing I really that really sold me on this particular model, between the others, it's these little details that really added up. But Coachman, the Freedom Express, really seemed to knock it out of the park when it came down to it. But if you notice that the awning goes the whole length of the unit, it doesn't stop. I see a lot of them will stop short of, of, the, uh, of the outdoor kitchen, or some of them will stop somewhere around here. Uh, this one goes the whole length, and it really, really impressed me. Something that has come in handy um, tremendously. I won't go into the... Uh, the Asdell too much, but I do want to say that I don't regret going with the full fiberglass. I wouldn't have done those aluminum sides. The fiberglass is phenomenal. It cleans easily, looks good. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. So let me just tell you the speakers out here. Um, they're small little speakers. You can't say much for them. It's a nice thing to be able to say that you have a radio, but in the day and age when we all have cell phones and Bluetooth speakers, that's a lot better than, than those things. Um, RV industry, if you're listening, the radio and how it works is awful. Just god awful. Just it needs to be exploded, or you know what? Just give you the option not to have one. Just just set me up with the connections, and I'll take it from there. But it's just awful. It is ridiculously awful. All right, so out here you got the vent, the speaker, and then of course the little outlet, which is nice. Right now, I'm, well, I was charging my camera, but I'm taking a video with it. Um, I like that these tires are, the axles are really wide. Um, it pulls like a dream. Uh, I've had other um, boats that I've pulled that had the double axle and with that spread it's really, it really helps out, I've, I've noticed. Um, I'll do another video on the outdoor kitchen um, because I could say a lot about it. but. 
when I first started looking, I honestly wasn't thinking about an outdoor kitchen. I thought it was a little gimmicky, but after having it, it is a lifesaver. And I'll tell you why. I've got two little ones, a five-year-old and a nine-year-old, and they want to go in and out of the RV, especially if the AC's on. And of course, they don't close the door, and then they want to go in the in the refrigerator so this really cuts down on those you got your own little refrigerator with their drinks in it and of course somewhere where they can wash their hands and so on the thing that I've had an issue with are these connections here so this little piece raises up and then you snap it in place you snap it in place but when you're going down the highway this obviously is is pushing down and so it caused this particular one to strip and when that stripped out it put more pressure on this other one so I ended up having to have by coincidence these flashlights or these lanterns that I put and then it sits there uh, and it takes some of that stress out of it uh, but that's just minor details we'll talk about quality in another video because that's another another little thing um, that I could do a video on so let's go inside first and foremost for, before we go in let's see if you can see it it's got a covered underbelly which I guess will help you stay out a little longer. Also, I have the light on, so that little strip is really nice because it lights it up at night. Little details. This strip that goes the whole length is phenomenal, but if you, if you just turn it on, it, it lights up the place, but what really helps is when you have the awning come out, that really lights it up because it helps spread that light, so there is no shortage of light. There's the 257 VHS, this Aluma cage. I like the fact that it's aluminum instead of the wood. That was uh, that was pretty big to us. All right, so again, I apologize in advance. I've been meaning to do this video, but uh, I haven't been able to because it's been in my driveway and I can't have the slide out out in my driveway because there's not enough room. Um, and I haven't been doing it because the RV's been messy and I just said, forget it. I'm gonna do it and uh, you'll just have to pardon the mess. Okay, so let's go ahead and start in the bedroom over here. So you've got your own little private bedroom. I like the pocket doors, you know, in case you want to get dressed or you want some privacy. Uh, when it really comes in handy is when the kids wake up early in the morning and they want to go outside and that hot air or cold air comes in. If you've got those pocket doors closed, um, you know, no light gets in and no hot or cold air gets in. So that's really nice. So actual queen size bed got some lighting under there as well as some speakers because this television here uh, when you open up the doors you're able to swivel it and you can watch TV in your bed which is really nice especially like the little one last year um, in the middle of the day he needed to take a nap and so we put a t uh, movie on, on the TV he'd watch it and fall asleep so it was really nice give him his quiet space let me tell you about storage there is I mean it is just a tremendous amount of storage so these three so I packed for about a four-day trip um, there's room here my wife's side is the other side here's my computer and iPad but as you can see there's just a tremendous amount of storage one thing I wish they would have done is had an option to put LED lights in there so some strips just like you saw in the underbelly would have been nice you can fit like you can fit a ton of stuff in there. It's just deep. You've got a place to hang some clothes. Really nice little touch. So we've got one light in here. Two would have been better. But again, um, got the vent there, the AC vent. If, if anyone at Coachman's listening, uh, another light would have been nice and another AC vent. Now, it's not the end of the world, it's just one of those little personal things because it is, especially when you close the, uh, the doors, you're away from all the other vents. So the reason I really like the um, interior on this is that it's taller, okay? So it's, it's a few inches higher, which is a really big plus, and I'll show you why in just a minute in the bathroom. Uh, but you've got some additional speakers here as well as in the bedroom. So we have it over here so you can have that playing. The vents a lot of them will only have that blow on the cold air but i like the vents all over the place so let's go with the um let's go with the entertainment center so again that swivels this is where i have every all my little knickknacks uh chargers so on that's that's a really nice touch to have these chargers here and i've got my own here 
This is where all the electronics and the keys go. Uh, lots of storage. Can I can't say enough about storage. Then when it comes to the slide out, I really like the LED light up there. Um, we've got some additional storage space here, storage space there, and you can open that, slide that, and you have more storage. Um, also enjoyed the fact that they had some cup holders there, and this particular um, dinette, the uh, table, you can actually remove. You can also flatten it, make a bed, but you can actually remove it. So some folks will say, well, I want to be able to hang out in the RV and so on. I totally get it. You can have a couch. You can have... Uh, a longer trailer you can have all these other features I totally get it but I, I can't do the longer trailer because I'm not sure if my truck um, could handle it uh, but more importantly getting into our driveway is a pain it's at an angle in a curve on the street and I'll show you hopefully if I get a clip of that um, but again it, it there's just we've got a tree on each side and it's just a t tight squeeze already this is the max that we could do and this is the perfect size to be honest with you for us in my opinion so let's take a look at the kitchen again part of the mess so this is why i like the kitchen plenty of storage plenty of storage there's no shortage check out this utensil holder how cool is that just really thoughtful really really thoughtful um and again, they've got a little cover that goes over it. So in case you need more counter space, you can cover up the sink. Um, one of the additional add-ons or options on this particular one is this is an actual 8 cubic feet, a cubic foot uh, refrigerator. Most of them are 6, I believe. So this one is 8, so it looks a little longer there. So we need... Again, you can never have too much, right? So it's nice. The, I'll do another video about the refrigerator, but the one thing I'll tell you about them in case you've never done the RV thing is this is an RV refrigerator. And what that means is that it can run both on electric and on gas. I've, I haven't run it on gas. Again, everywhere I've gone has electricity. Uh, but it'd be nice to have and so on. What I will tell you is that it's not as efficient as the one you saw outside or your normal one at home. So in other words, when you open and you let that cold air out and close it and fill it with hot air, it's gonna take a little bit longer to cool than your standard refrigerator. For that reason, I like the fact that we have a refrigerator outside for the kids to get in and out of, because you know the kids don't close the refrigerator. And I leave this just for my wife. She does most of the cooking and so on, so I just leave it for her. The only person allowed in and out of it is, is her, and sometimes she lets me. So, um, the other thing I'll tell you about while we're talking about storage is this is the pantry and the closet, or you can use that as a closet as well because it's got a place to hang your clothes. Again, some LED strips would have been nice. That would have been a nice touch. Uh, but as you can see, there's no shortage of, of storage. Um, and these are adjustable, by the way, so you can set them up to your liking. So these drawers have uh, socks and underwear and so on in there, and then there's some additional storage there. Fuses. A big selling point for us was being able to grow into this thing with the kids. And for that reason, one of the many of the RVs that we saw only had the single bunks instead of the double. So this one not only had the double, it had a vent in here, which again is a plus. Had a light, again, not all of them have a light. I know that seems like no big deal, but um, it, it is. It's those little things that add up. Look, I found some money. And there you go. Somewhere to charge your, your iPad. So again, same thing here. Charger, a double. And this allows our kiddos to be able to grow in here or bring a kiddo. Have plenty of space. So that was one of the big selling features. I didn't want to go with a single. However, as a sacrifice, this is just a little bit smaller. So, more storage, nothing fancy. Remember I was talking about the ceiling height? This is where it pays off. And that is the ceiling in here is taller. I've always been in RVs where you get in and you're bumping up your head. I'm, I'm just about six foot and you're bumping your head up against this. And then with the higher ceiling, it really makes a difference. So that's the big selling point for me. I think that's about it with the uh, tour of the RV, maybe an owner's perspective. Um, I really wanted to do this video. If you're at home watching, just thinking about pulling the trigger on one of these, I couldn't recommend Freedom Express highly enough. 
one brand that I did not take a look at was the Jayco. I really uh, should have. I didn't. I really didn't see too many dealers in the area. Um, but the thing that I really liked about this floor plan, as you can see, the layout is phenomenal for our family. Um, and it's not a copycat. I ran into other uh, manufacturers that had like a copycat version of this. And there were details that I believe they missed. And, and you could feel the quality, the difference. Um, so again, this one really stood out to us. And it, um, it served us well. No regrets. Really enjoying it. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Hopefully this has helped you um, decide whether you like this unit or not. But again, I wanted to show you kind of an owner's perspective on this. But thank you guys so much and be sure to subscribe, like the video, and look out for some more reviews.